An Xbox exclusive has been delayed until 2022. Alright guys, before we get into this, if you are new here, as I see a lot of you from my analytics, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you enjoy daily Xbox content. So Scorn is a horror adventure game that is going to be a console exclusive to Xbox and it will be coming to Xbox Game Pass. It's a day and date game on the service and it is a game after this initial gameplay trailer wish went off got a lot of people very excited especially people who are fans of these horror style games the atmosphere of it looks extremely just creepy in a game that you're going to probably get spooked a bit as you play through it now, this game was supposed to release in 2021 but after seeing this gameplay trailer we really haven't heard too many updates on the game so i guess the reason why we haven't seen too many updates of the game is because of this update post that was provided on their kickstarter page firstly announcing that the game is going to be pushed into 2022 and the date of its release isn't going to be announced until December 10th at least that's what they say but they also say if they don't make the announcement on December 10th don't be surprised now it was a very very odd update for this game and there's a lot of weird stuff going on here. So Ebb Software put out this project update on November 5th, and it's a very passive aggressive update that's really kind of attacking the backers of the game, pretty much just calling them out for not being patient and always asking for updates and wanting to see gameplay trailers and all that kind of stuff. So they go over here, I'll quickly go through it just so you get an understanding of what I'm talking about. And they say, we were just developing a game and that is nothing more than that basically on the fact that people haven't heard anything about it yet then they go on to kind of call out cd project red as we know with cd project red there was the big issue of them keeping delaying the game and then the game coming out and being extremely buggy and they should have kept on delaying it until it was ready and they kind of put a lot of emphasis on the fact that cyberpunk 2077 just had a ton of pr and a ton of marketing so a lot of resources were taken away from actually developing the game and put it on creating hype for the game continuing on talking about the problem of hype and how when you put out that first video of a game that you're trying to make it gets people excited if it's something that they want to play and then it creates a vicious cycle of having to continuously keep that hype up but having to create those hype videos like I said, takes a ton of resources away from developers and takes away from actually working on the video game itself. Now, this is something we've heard from multiple developers previously, specifically even 343 with Halo Infinite. When people were waiting on a campaign update, they talked about how it just is getting worked on. The game is fine. We haven't put out any new videos yet until obviously the most recent one because they don't want to take those resources away from the developers, which is being used to focus on actually finishing and polishing off Halo Infinite. But they talk about that vicious cycle of hype and all that kind of stuff and why they didn't put out the video, talk about the financial backing and how they got the initial financial backing by putting out their initial gameplay video and that Microsoft Kowloon, I think that's how you say it, and the Kepler deals have all been great in just supporting the creation of this game. There hasn't been any negative pushing and trying to get the game out from these companies that have actually backed the game. And ending it off with the release plan that I mentioned earlier, that slipped to 2022, and you should expect an official date announced on December 10th. Now, the actual update itself if you took away all the passive aggressiveness from this post i mean they give you a lot of information as to what is going on and that part is good the problem here is they're really calling out the people that have supported this company supported this game and have given ebb software pretty much the opportunity to create their creative vision with scorn now i understand the frustration from both sides i'm not a developer but i can definitely understand the frustration it takes where People on social media are continuously asking for updates, asking for marketing, asking for all this stuff that, I mean, at the end of the day, will not make the game good because if the game, if resources are taken away from developing the game to make marketing material, which in turn makes the end product not as good as it could be, why would you even want to see that many updates? But then I can also see on the other side, it's been so long since they've seen anything for this game, since anyone's seen anything for the game. Previous to this, October 20th, I believe, which is when this video here dropped, October 21st, was the last update of anything we saw about Scorn. Now, I'm not saying that they needed to put out another video like this, because I'm sure that would take a lot of time and resources, but even just putting a written post on Kickstarter for the backers between October 20th 
for 21st, 2020 and November 5th, 2021, a whole year later would have been, in my opinion, sufficient enough to allow people to know that the game is still in development it's looking good and maybe taking a bit longer than they expect but yeah this was just so weird i don't know why they went so hard against the people that gave them their money to create this game it makes absolutely no sense we've seen this type of thing already with battlefield 5 i believe where people were upset with certain aspects of battlefield 5 and dice came out and said hey pretty much just don't buy the game and they kind of do the same thing here because at the end they say if you don't like what's going on just ask for a refund and it totally backfired on dice people didn't play the game it was a complete failure and it, now scorn could end up being in the same boat the only saving grace scorn has right now i think is twofold one they have that xbox game pass money xbox has fun in this game they've probably already made back the majority of what they need to at least create the game and not lose too much money because of that deal so they can thank xbox microsoft for that but then also the actual ceo apologize after and we'll see how you know how this works if people take to it but it's kind of ridiculous what they did here i think it was a pretty bad move i don't think you should be going out and calling out the people that have just given their money without even seeing a product to help you fund your video game and i understand the frustration as well from the development side of things even though i'm not a developer but people are very very impatient they want updates they want to see that hype even though you know there's so much stuff to play out there but hey, if you've given your money, you've paid for a Kickstarter. I don't blame you for wanting to see where your money is going. But anyways, guys, that's it for me. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Are you excited for scoring? Did you see the two posts that came out in the last couple of days? And what did you think about them? If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new here, you like what you saw throughout this video. I'd really appreciate you hitting that subscribe button to help this channel grow, help grow this community so we can have great conversations in the comments below. Thank you again for watching. Thank you for your support. And I'll catch you in the next video.